Hey guys, today's play Biogun, a microscopic adventure. Uh, this is a Metroidvania style title, I believe. This is a platformer uh, released this year, 2024. Uh, it's been a lot of these platformers out of Steam recently, and uh, yeah, I decided to check this one out as well. So uh, I guess we are playing as a dog. So yeah, I guess we name our dog Penny. Uh, let's see, my play style. I guess we'll use Bumper Jumper. Bumper Jumper, or uh, is this prioritizes platforming, and this one gives a slight edge in combat. Okay, I guess we'll go with this one then. <clears throat> the world as we know it has changed. Because of this new reality, a new pandemic known as the Doom Virus. A few years ago, a superbug emerged that caused a worldwide pandemic. Its symptoms severe, and its accompanying flatulence miasmatic. Months of research left the COC duped at every turn. Lacking any sense of creativity, they overtly named it the Duper Virus. Its origins were unknown for many months, until they traced it back to the largest meat production facility in Eastern Europe. From the bottom up, it was the perfect ground for the virus to grow, adapt, it's time to get to Okay, what is this? We're playing as some kind of superpowered dog. <coughs> or actually we're playing as a We're playing as some sort of microscopic bacteria creature. Can you hear Boom, me? what the heck? Uh, hold on a second. Okay, try now. Excellent. The synapse communicator is functioning properly. As expected. Do you understand the task? Okay, so, uh... Oh my god, it's another one of those games where the D-pad doesn't do anything, does it? Oh no, D-pad is for using... I would prefer to use D-pad for this kind of game, because it's a 2D platformer, but nope, they force you to use the analog stick. The analog stick just should be used for 3D games and the D-pad for 2D games. Just my opinion. So I don't really like it when they use analog for 2D games. It's not really meant for that. Okay, so I guess we're playing as some kind of microscopic dog creature. Yeah, we're, we're playing some sort of microscopic dog creature inside of a womb. <laughs> okay. off like bacteria or something. We're fighting off some kind of bacteria stuff. <laughs> womb cell. Okay. What kind of womb are we in anyways? Thank God. Sentas. I mean, are they named Senta because of placenta? <laughs> I'm, I don't know. Is that how they named it? Yeesh. Okay. Interesting naming. I mean, it's an interesting setting actually, as well. They decided to play as a microscopic dog and then a womb. Attacking like some kind of bacteria or virus or something. Okay. Very earthworm gym, actually. Oh shit. Oh no, I got stuck. Right. You blocked out. Osmosis the path carried you back to safety, and as a result, it's overheated. Its ability to heal is disabled. Not to worry, refilling your atomic meter will make it operational again. Oh my 
god, this is... <clears throat> this game's very weird. <laughs> the setting. It's, uh... Play you're playing in a womb. <laughs> It's a microscopic dog, and then there's like all these like follicles that look like testicles and stuff, and sperm everywhere. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, what an interesting setting for this game. Um, bacteria. There's like stuff that looks like ovaries, and yeah, and uh, I guess sperm cells and stuff like. Wow. Okay. And testicles, man. Oh, right, the dash. How am I supposed to get past this part? You see, these look like freaking sperm stuff. Oh my god. Listen. Hold on, Beck. That flowing goo in front of you is called an enzyme. Okay. That's an enzyme? It looks what? like this enzyme allows you to gain atomic energy without the need to shoot enemies. Okay. Yep. Kind of, uh, does remind me of some levels in Earthworm Gym, but... Yeah, let's see. Are you serious? Okay. Oh my god, I can't go up, can I? Oh my god. Can I use it? No. I can't. Oh. What does this mean osmosis disabled? Osmosis enabled. Oh my god, this one thing. One cell or whatever. Is it the ability to like heal or something? Bioorganic microchip that release okay. So deeper views access. Okay, so we're in a dog. We're in a okay, so the dog that we named at the beginning of the game is the dog's womb that we're in now and we're playing as a microscopic dog in this womb, okay? I'm trying to uh, figure out this <laughs> what's going on here. So you're playing as a microscopic dog in another dog's womb. Okay. My atomic weapon, okay. Like more powerful weapon. Man, that's strong. Even my tonk weapon. It's trouble with it. What is this stuff? 
What is this stuff? Oh no, I don't have the... I don't have my atomic weapon anymore. It's gonna be even harder now. Oh my god. Damn, that's tough. So I don't have my atomic weapon anymore, and I just have my regular weapon, and then that, that attack is pretty deadly. I can't even reach him. Okay, now I can. Oh shit. Dude, like you have to fully jump these things. Oh my god. No, I can't heal. Whimpering. Oh no, another one? Are you kidding me? I can't even hit it. I can't even barely hit it. Oh my god. Come on, you little... Oh my god. And then when I get near it, it just goes away. That's so annoying. That is so annoying. this thing oh my god oh and then I had to do this all over again are you kidding me okay I really don't really like this game anyways biogun I have to say this game's very frustrating to play um, yeah it's a frustrating game to play and also the settings are a bit weird so I don't know if everyone's okay with having the setting of being a microscopic dog in another dog's womb and then the enemies are like these bacteria virus things and uh, yeah, it's just kind of a disgusting setting, I guess. So anyways, Biogun, yeah. Um, I guess if you're into Earthworm Gym, you might like it, but yeah, it's it's, an, it's annoying to play. <laughs> Personally, I'm not really into this game. But yeah, it's a, it's a platformer. I guess say one of many on Steam, but I'm not really into it. So guys, thanks for watching. One of many platformers on Steam. But it's probably not one of my favorites, though. So.